Hello, hello. It's currently a uh, fairly nice day out in Kamala Kamalana. Uh, we'll try that again. Hello, hello. It's currently a fairly nice Saturday afternoon out here in Kamakana Ali'i. And as of right now, we're currently roughly halfway through the Rhyhorn Community Day. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of got uh, kind of a late start to today, so unfortunately, I will not be capitalizing on the full day. But as of right now, the plan for today is to head out and just walk around Kamakana Lee for a little bit and just try and catch as many Rhyhorn as I can, and hopefully I'll be able to get some pretty good shinies out of it. Uh, or at least at the end of the day, I'm hoping for a good IV Rhyhorn to get myself a Rhyperior with Rock Wrecker. So, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's do it. pretty much wraps up my experience for Rhyhorn Community Day. Uh, even though we were a bit short on time or shorter on time than I would like for Community Day experience, I uh, was still able to get myself one shiny Rhyhorn and a good IV Rhyhorn, uh, both of which have now been evolved into Rhyperior with Rock Wrecker. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying out the Rhyperiors either in raids when they're eligible, or even during the Master League portion of Go Battle League, just to kind of see how, how they fare in that. Uh, one other thing that happened during this community day is, which was a very, very pleasant surprise, was that I not only got myself a shiny Rhyhorn, but I also managed to snag myself a shiny Diglett. So I'm definitely going to be evolving that one into a shiny Dugtrio, uh, probably later on today, or sometime down the road but yeah with all that said even though um this is the end of my experience with the Rhyhorn community portion of the day this is not the last thing that i'm going to do that's pokemon related today um so i'm currently planning on heading out towards ala moana now because there is a rose cup tournament that'll be starting up within uh, give or take an hour or so from now so i'm gonna head out to ala moana participate in that rose cup you know, play a little bit more Pokemon Go. Maybe I might still have a bit more shiny luck left in me and left in me and might be able to get another unexpected shiny or two. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day. So with all that said, let's get going. Alright, so that pretty much sums up my the rest of my day for the Rhyhorn Community Day. Um, nothing really much happened after the Rose Cup, um, as far as I remember. As for the Rose Cup itself, well, uh, uh, ultimately we'll save that one for a later video, but spoiler alert, didn't quite go as well as I would have hoped, but I don't know, still had a pretty good time. Uh, right now I am currently, um, but as of right now, it is currently a beautiful, albeit fairly windy, uh, Wednesday afternoon out here in Waikele. And we're currently in the middle of the Pokemon Day celebration event in Pokemon Go. So as of right now, there is a Armored Me Too raid that's about to start up further up by the outlet malls. I'm going to head up there. Hopefully there will be some people that are participating in it. But if not, I do see some one-star raids with some... Um, padded Kanto starters around, so yeah, if all else fails, we can at least get that done. So, yeah, that's my last plan for the day. Let's do it.
that pretty much wraps up my Pokemon Day celebration experience in Waikele. I uh, was fortunate enough to be able to not only complete two Armored Mewtwo raids, but also to be able to catch both of the Armored Mewtwo's. So I'm definitely looking forward to powering up at least one of those that I can use for Ultra League um, when Season 1 of Go Battle League starts up. Um, but right now it is currently a beautiful, albeit fairly windy, um, Sunday afternoon out here in Kapole, and today is the last full day of the Pokemon Day celebration, and the day when the Gengar and Nidorino party hat raids uh, begin popping up. Hopefully I'll be able to maybe get a shiny Gengar or Nidorino out of it, but uh, honestly, just looking forward to at least getting one of those, and ultimately to get like all the Stardust and uh, items from all of the raids that I uh, could be participating throughout the day. But uh, yeah, ultimately the plan for today was to go through those raids, um, maybe keep an eye out for any more shiny Pikachus or Eevees with party hats, and yeah, just kind of enjoy the day. Um, it does look like there's a few rain clouds coming in, so hopefully we don't have to cut it short because of the rain, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, let's do it. Real quick shiny check on the party hat Gengar. Nope, not this one. Nidorino shiny check. So that wraps up my experience with the with the Pokemon Day celebration. Uh, the only thing that I regret out of all of this is that I wasn't really able to capitalize on the clone Pokemon raids that were out during this week. But other than that, did manage to get some more Armored Mewtwo with Psy Strike, so I'm pretty excited to once again use those for Ultra League. And got a good amount of Gengar and Nidora or Nidorino raids in, which while I wasn't able to get the shiny versions of them, I did manage to get a good amount of Stardust as well as Rare Candies and TMs out of it as well. So uh, 
arguably I figure it's a fairly good experience. Uh, yeah, with, that, with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button, maybe even consider subscribing as well. And with all of that said, I will see you guys in the next video.